Hey everyone, it's Phil here and you're watching STV Sydney Trains Vlogs. I'm currently at Central Station and I'm going to take you all on a bit of an adventure today. Maybe a little bit of a lengthy video. As some of you may or may not know, Central Station was actually built on the site of a cemetery, the Devonshire Street Cemetery. Now, the gates to this cemetery, the gates to the Devonshire Street Cemetery actually still exist to this day. It was, they were lost for quite a number of years, uh, but about 20 years ago they were found and moved to the Rookwood Cemetery. So what we're doing now is, actually I'm going to work, so I'm gonna take you on that little trip as well. But also included in this video will be the trip uh, to Lidcombe and onto the cemetery on the search for the gates, the gates to the Devonshire Street Cemetery where Central Station sits today. I actually found out about this uh, from a post that the Rookwood Cemetery, uh, they had posted on Instagram. What the heck is going on here? Okay, new tiles, okay. We've got three minutes for this train. I'm getting H14 to Epping. I usually like to get the express Coffee in hand. Much, much quicker getting to Epping this way. Two stops only, Strathfield than Epping. It should be an exciting adventure. Central Station now. Alrighty, so I've made it to Epping Station. I've uh, now, well, once this Oscar departs, I've got to get a bus to Marsfield. Uh, now I'm not too sure if I'm doing a second job today, a uh, small job. I'm not, su not sure if I'm finishing in Marsfield or Macquarie Park, but either way, um, once this uh, Oscar departs, uh, I'll then see you all after I've finished work uh, so we can 
start our adventure to Lidcombe and the Rookwood Cemetery. Rookwood Cemetery is actually the largest cemetery in the Southern Hemisphere. It is its own suburb. It actually has or had a government bus stop in there. Um, so buses actually used to go through there. So uh, it'll be a sort of a big search for this, for these gates. Okie dokie, see you all when I've finished work. Alrighty, so I've finished work in Marsfield. I didn't have to go to Macquarie Park today, which which is good and, ba good and bad in a way. It would have been good to do that job, so I don't have to do it next week, but um, that's all right. That's all good. Uh, so now I'm just going to get a bus to Epping Station, train to Strathfield, and then train to Lidcombe, and I'll film bits and pieces of that, and then we can have a look for these gates. I uh, hope it doesn't rain. There is a pretty dark cloud there. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It's always raining in this darn city. It's a bit... <laughs> plunk it. That's a bit... <laughs> it's a bit hard to do anything when it's always raining here. Yeah. Anyway, it's better than here. Alright. We'll see you at the bus stop. Okay, so I'm going to get the 5.50 to Epping... I'm on one of the Series 2 CB80s, uh, Busways 2994. I'm at Epping Station, there is a Tangara that's due in to Platform 1 uh, in about 5 or so minutes, uh, which I'll be getting to Strathfield. There is an Oscar which will run express and actually overtake this Tangara and get to Strathfield uh, before the Tangara, but that's a little more convenient with the Tangara arriving into Platform 5 at Strathfield when, when all I need to do is go over to Platform 6. So I'll be on the same island. The next train to arrive on T seventy three the set from the Concord West accident, <laughs> conveniently enough. <laughs> this leading carriage, D6287, is actually replacing one of the written-off carriages. Um, D6114 was written off as a result of the uh, Concord West accident. <laughs> I literally just stepped off my train here and uh, at Strathfield and I've got a B set to let go. It's on an EB plane service. The train on platform 6 goes to EB Plains, Parramatta. First stop, Lincoln, Parramatta, West Bay, Seven Hills, Blacktown, then all stations to Penrith and this station is Strathfield. Alright, so I'm on uh, B21, the next stop is Lidcombe.
Uh, from there, I will have a 20, uh, between 20 and 25 minute walk uh, from Lidcombe Station to these gates. Enjoy the trip. I might as well just film from here until Lidcombe. Just beyond all these trees there, that is the Rookwood Cemetery. There actually used to be a rail line that uh, went to Rookwood from Regent Street Station, which is that beautiful sandstone building that you can see uh, just, just in Sydney Yard, beyond Central Station. Another Waratah with the doors locked off on two carriages here. Another one there.
travelling with a brand, always park parallel to the platform. Apply the brakes and keep the safety strap around your wrist. All right, now walking to Rookwood Cemetery. I've got about uh, 20 minutes to go until I get to these gates, and that's just freaking creepy. All right, just about to enter the cemetery now. I've got about 10 or 11 minutes of a walk uh, to get to these gates. Not too much longer. Some parts of this cemetery will be very eerie at night, I'll tell you that. Some gardeners in here doing some work. Big job. <laughs> massive place. Rookwood Cemetery is its own suburb. It is that big. About, about four minutes to go. From what I saw on Google Maps there was actually a, uh, a bit of information about about these gates. Ah, sorry, a bit of information about these gates on a, um, a plaque type thing in front of them. All right, the gates are open, which is fine. Now, from what I have read, the sandstone pillars here from these gates date back uh, to 1818, so they were made from Sydney sandstone in about 1818. Alright, so these are the gates here, and as suspected, there is some information about these gates just here. So if you want to pause the video, then have a bit of a read. photo just pause the video again that is the Devonshire Street Cemetery uh, where Central Station stands now there's more information about the Devonshire Street Cemetery When I first heard of this, I was actually uh, very, very intrigued because I love, I love this kind of stuff. I love history. Very cool. Very cool and very interesting. Let me just walk up. Very eerie. All right, we'll have a bit more of a look at this uh, uh, at these gates uh, in on my other channel, Abandoned Oz. I'm actually just about to film a video for that channel because it fits perfectly. They're not abandoned, but the slogan or the the motto or whatever for Abandoned Oz is exploring Australia's history, history and abandonments. So um, uh, swing over to Abandoned Oz. I'll uh, I'll put the link in the description uh, below. Um, and thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, favorite the video. Thank you for coming with me on this journey and I'll catch you soon. Bye for now.